Hello. Whoa, that's loud. What's happening, everyone? Welcome to another thrilling episode of Johnny TV. It's me, your boy Johnny. I'm sipping coffee right now. Freestyle Johnny. That's what they call me. I'm like a Coke freestyle machine. You walk up to me, you go, I want this type of Johnny, and then you poke me, and then it comes out of my mouth. Uh, that's how it be sometimes. I'm looking at the chat right now. I didn't realize uh, the way I have the chat positioned on the screen, it just looks like I'm reading it. Like, that's kind of funny. Like, I'm just reading it from the screen. Um, I love the devil shirt. Thank you. They won yesterday, so I had to represent. I should have it there more often. Um, anyway. Today we're playing Inscription. Uh, I played a little bit of this yesterday. Um, a friend of mine suggested I play it. He said it's fucking cool. And I agree it is cool. I don't know what I'm doing in the game. I'm horrible at uh, deck building. But from what I've gathered, it's not all about the deck building. And there's more, more than meets the eye with this game. And uh, I would love help from the chat because uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in this game. Wow, Wado D's Nuts says, Hey, Johnny, excited to see more of your short film. I shoot a lot of experimental stuff on mini DV. It's so fun to film with. Yes, I do want to reiterate those were just test shots. Um, I just picked weird things to film that has really nothing to do with my short film. Uh, yeah, I'm working on, on that. Hopefully, I could. Uh, I'm still like formulating the thoughts. I probably shouldn't have posted anything about it because I'm not, probably not going to do it, but I'm, I'm really pushing myself to do it because. I feel like I've, uh, while I've been at Mega64, I haven't really, like, put myself on, you know? I've always wanted to make films and stuff, so I was like, might as well utilize, utilize the platform. Um, okay. Thank you for getting on the podcast. That was a last minute decision. Rocco just said, hey, you want to hop on? And I had to give Kevin a little rundown. Of how to run the board. It's not difficult, but there's small things that, like, I know what I'm doing and he may not know. Like, uh, it's already really hard to switch cameras, but, like, I'm switching cameras and also, like, doing audio at the same time. Usually a two man job, but I'm doing both. So, like, I don't fault Kevin for, you know, not paying attention to the audio stuff because it is daunting. John, you were great on the podcast. Thank you. I'm going to the dentist tomorrow. How do I not be scared? I'm a grown ass person, but it still makes me nervous as hell. Uh, I don't know. The dentist is it, the dentist is always scary. I remember when I got my wisdom teeth pulled. I was shaking because I had never been put under uh, with anesthesia, and uh, the best thing about that. Whole experience is I was nervous. I'm nervous. They inject that shit. And it, you like in that moment, I was like, okay, if, if, if I get given morphine before I die, it's going to be rad. Cause it was just like, take me. I'm so happy. And then I just was gone. Um, anyway, morbid, morbid topic. Uh, how old were you when you got them pulled? I was 25. You and Sean should do an NHL show. I don't think Sean likes hockey as much as me. I'm, like, all in on hockey right now. Um, I think I finally understand it. I finally understand the genuine kind of, like, structure of it and what it means to be good at hockey. Um, one, knowing, learning about the line was crazy. Like, I didn't know that there was, like, you know, a left winger, a right winger, and a center, like, going in. And I didn't know about the like setups that they go into, but also just learning the, that you generally want like the puck on the other player's side mostly. I mean that that's you know obvious, but like 
literally the best sport. I agree, because it's fucking crazy. They all fight each other, and, that like... I don't know, I just feel like they're willing to fucking kill each other to win a hockey game. I feel like no one else, no other sport... I mean, maybe, uh... Football. Uh, I think we're playing the Canes tomorrow. Right? Am I crazy? I mean, the, the, the Canes beat us last year when we were headed to the uh, playoffs. Yeah. We play them on the 25th. So, that'll be interesting. So, that is Thursday. Um, the Devils have been up and down to the season. Oh yeah, they've been horrible. Uh, we won, we lost like three games in a row. I'm, I'm baffled we won the game last night. Sorry guys. I'm going to get to inscription in, in a second here. I just got to talk. No one ever wants to talk to me about hockey. Um, yeah, our goalie sucks ass. Uh, Vanacek got scored on, uh, like three times last night. Like three or four times. Crazy. We were, we were winning like three, one and then they just, they, they got us. Um, I think, uh, I forget our other goalie's name. I think it's Daw. I think that's his name. He's way better. Um, yeah, it was Vegas. There was a game recently where I was like, this team is too good. Um, they like fucking annihilated us. What was it? It was, it was Florida. Florida was going crazy. I think we won the game. Yeah, we won, but they were going nuts. Anyway. I'm I'm just hoping the Devils make it wild card. Let's go. I think we just need to win a couple more games, but the, the Hurricanes are a good team, whoever, uh, Horace, so I think, uh, I think they're definitely going to beat us on Thursday. Yeah, I was baffled how like crazy Florida was playing. Uh, I think their defense wasn't very good, but their offense was like the puck was in the in uh, on our side like the entire game. Anyway, inscription. We could talk more hockey after uh, we play a bit. Uh, let me turn the music down or, or off. Let me turn it off. Let me turn that shit off. Um, are you watching the NFL? No, I mean. My friend is a big uh, Buffalo Bills fan, so I kind of, like, absorb it through that. Uh, but I heard they lost the other day. Um, I hope this game isn't too loud. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Sorry, this game, like, just starts. Hello? Hello? God damn it. Sorry, guys. It won't let me move the fucking window until I start the actual game up. Um, So I'm, like, kind of locked in this shit right now. But maybe if I do it now. Okay. Hello. Time to figure out what's on this thing. It's just text that says, time to figure out what's on this thing. You ain't missing anything yet. Um, It's not letting me move the window to where I want it. It will now. Nope. Okay. Not sure what's happening here. Oh my God. Sorry. Usually I could move, if I hit like Windows Shift right, it'll move the screen to a different computer. But I could, I'll turn this on now. Maybe if I open it here.
Well, now it's not responding. Dude. What is happening? This sucks ass. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Hello. Need you to work, please. I think my keyboard's not working. Let me just uh, fuck with this for a second. There we go. God, that sucked. All right, now that's good. All right, that's good on my end. Um, that good on your y'all's end? This looks clean. Okay. All right. We're gonna go y'all get into it. I don't know how loud this is, so let me know if it's too loud when the game starts. So, I don't think you can start a new game. Like, is that too loud? I think it's supposed to be loud. I'm gonna maybe make it a little hair. Just a hair. Okay, continue. I think I'm gonna have to do a lot of reading, I just realized. I hate reading. I hate reading to you guys. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. All right. Uh, I played a little bit of this yesterday. So I kind of know the main mechanics, but I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Now play the stout. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stout stands unopposed. The number of the the number on the bottom left is its attack power, one. Take that. Game is quiet. How's that? There's no real sound. It's just his, like, weird vocal. Am I saying stout wrong? Is it st 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 It's not- it's stout? Stout? Holy fuck. Sorry, guys. I've never seen that word before. Stout. I guess it's spelt boat. Uh, spelt similar to boat. Uh, you will win- if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My, co my coyote deals two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. Okay. I'm gonna take a squirrel. Squirrel? How dull. Yeah, I'm gonna play a wolf. Uh huh? Hey, stop. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. I think I'm doing this right. Because you're learning, I will pass. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck. Or the certainty of a squirrel. Squirrel. I'll take a card from my deck. Ooh, river snapper. Can't do anything, I think. Uh, 
Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. Pass. Okay, take a little squirrel. Um. I win. I froze. Oh, you've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Guys, let me know if I'm doing anything wrong, because I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing in this game. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite, is always lethal. The undying cat sacrificed the poor beast does not kill it. Game is best enjoyed just playing it and listening to literally nothing chat tells you. Okay, I'll do that. Um, I'm going to take the cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in the bottle. A uh, break in case of emergencies. And have a second. Another useful implement. It allows you to tip the scales with it. Uh, three is as much as you can carry. Okay. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. <laughs> you sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe you'll help me. Take your turn. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Okay. Um, hard bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Okay. We'll play a squirrel. What do I got? What do I got? I'm gonna play the cat. Play the cat. Love the choice in game. Had a ton of fun with this one myself. Thank you, Pojo Jojo sixty four, for the eight months. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. What do I got? Take that. All right. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Uh, I'm gonna take a squirrel. And boom, boom, boom. Whoa! The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. It has fly. Oh God! Ha! My bat flew right over your cat. Uh, what do I got? What do I got? Cat has no attack, so I will take a squirrel. Hello? Squirrel. Place that fucker. And I will play. Oh. Mm, are they. Okay. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody say way ho. Just act the cat to play the stout. Um, card. And yeah, you're right. Boom. Here we go. No! What? Put some respect on Kathy May 15's name. Squirrel. We're all just squirrels in this dang world. Boom. Okay. Let's go. No. Like a squirrel. Sent him, sent his ass to the fucking shadow realm, baby. 
Oh, is that her name? <laughs> yeah. Say way ho. Oh, my fucking camera is blocking the dang dialogue. You don't want that. No. Uh, you prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloodied terrain. Okay. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow. An expensive, uh, feeble flying creature. Uh, I like flying. That's how I play magic. Yo, what's up? Rogue resistance. Okay. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. Uh, you are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Oh, God. I like this effect. Pick me. All right, bro. What an honor. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the cat now lives in the stoat. In the stoat. God. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. <laughs> He's completely insane. You see that? Right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Okay. Can I draw another squirrel? No, okay. Squirrel. Um, all right, everyone has fly, but you can, oh, I guess two. Hmm. I think it makes sense to get the stout out fast. Stout. Stout. And then I could play both of them. Okay. I told him as... Granted my coyote the power of flight. Oh god. What the fuck? Um Can I move these fuckers? Hey, uh, should I use this? Voice is good. All right, there we go. Got a wolf. Hmm. Fuck it. Let's go. That's how I play Yu-Gi-Oh. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. A proud wolf. What? There's a little mushroom. What's this mushroom? Conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. What is this fucking mushroom? Oh, you have it in your deck? Okay, cool. Uh, I like this effect, I think. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. That's a good thing to have. I don't know how to make this deck cohesive at all, but uh, I'm going to try my best. You came across a small group of survivors. Face shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of a come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire that will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors whipping dro wiping drool from their mouth. I'm hungry boys. I don't know what this does. It's like bite. 
I'll give it. I'll give a wolf. The fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. A fire inside. Okay. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I'll tear you to shreds. Find it. Oh, dot, dot, dot. All right, what's going on here? He's got some fly boys. Grizzly, damn. Damn, son. Those got f fly blockage. Um, I'm going to use the Adler against that fucker. Or put him down. Uh... Mm, okay. Let me get the stout out. The spot, you sure? No, I should have moved him here. Damn, whatever. I fucked up. No! <laughs> I fucked up so bad. Fuck, dude. I'm done. I don't know what happens when you die. God, fuck. Shit. I don't know what to do. Oh. I have a tooth. Well. Well. Say goodnight. Alright. Rip. He lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Okay. Fetch the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't know what that does. I accidentally did it last night, and so I just decided to do it again. Um, okay. Candlestick. Bring it here. Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. This was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Okay. I want backpack shit. Sequence breaking already. Uh, the flighty elk, it moves after tracking. Wild skunk. Okay. Grizzly. What does this do? Okay. I want the grizzly. Was that fucked up? I did that? I don't know. I just did that by accident last time I played. Okay. I want... I want the boulder. I want the boulder. And I want a squirrel. Ooh. And a goat. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items you carried on. I like the music. There's no wrong choices? That rocks. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Hey how twas twas the prospector. <laughs> I don't know if I should do that voice. Um, okay. What does he got? What does he got out here? Okay. Pretty good. 
What do I got? Okay. That. Pay a Spiro. That here. Uh, what did this do? Black goat bottle. Uh, black goat is created in your hand. Black goat is defined as zero power, one health. Worthy sacrifice. Okay. I don't need that. Um. Mighty leap. What the fuck? What, what is this? Why is this blocked out? Okay. He's scary. Stinky Pete. I see. God damn, dude. All right. Uh. Um. This is a boss, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bite the bullet here. Play. Can I can I move these guys? Can't move them. Oh. Fuck. Look at that. Look at that. Dag nabbit my mule. My mule. Oh Jesus. Did I lose? God fucking. What's... God fuck dude. I was doing so good. Fucking mad. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Tough you may think of it that way. Though you may think of it. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be per the perfect memento of you. Uh, here are some cards from your mediocre deck. You can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Uh, I guess two. Did I lose the fucking cards? God damn it. And another, this time I will use its power and health, the numbers. Uh, I guess this one. Four power and two health from the wolf. Now choose a card from which you will exact the sigil. Extract. Uh, this one's good. A sigil touch of death from the adder. Lose your whole deck? Fuck. I never did ask you your name. Uh, the fucking. Fuck, I, what should I write? You know what? This first one, this will, this will be. Now, there is now but one final matter. A portrait. You do not need to smile. What if the game, like, access my webcam or some shit? That would be scary as fuck. That would be so scary. <laughs> Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can... Understand bones. The resourceful possum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Okay. Put a rattler out. Put a squirrel. We got, I like we get to keep our boy though. That's cool. 
In the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Okay. Johnny boning? Hell yeah. Oh. Three? Damn. Hey, get this fucker out. Again? Okay. Can I play him too? Again. Nice. Uh. Okay. Yeah. We got. We ain't nothing but a bullfrog, baby. Damn. Is he one? I think I'll kill that guy. Get a load of this. Take that. Now this is epic. Block the snake, bro. Do my best. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep your for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Um Can I leave? Forgot your figurine. It's besides the safe. Beside the safe. Okay. Two, seven, three. Sorry, I did a lot of this already. This is about as far as I got in the... Oh, there was a hand! This is as far as I got in my playthrough at home. I think bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. It's p it's the st stowed again. The stunned wolf. This madness must end. Put that away. Who's the key? Oh shit. Okay. Look at us. Uh. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Does that work? Nope. Hey. Skink. I forgot that I put that there. Well, you may add it to your deck. Is this fucked up? Should I be doing this now? Whatever. Everyone said just do it your thing. I want like a baller ass deck. I don't want I want to have this 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 you can do anything. Okay, cool. Um. Okay. Does this work? Nope. How the fuck do you do this one? Does that work? Nope. Okay. Does this work? Nope. Okay. How the fuck? Uh, nope, okay, I guess I need that. This one's fucked. Is it like, okay, so it's a defense? No, I'm so confused. This one? No. Fucking something up. Is it this one? No, okay. Random shit. Oh, so like, doesn't work when one's touching it. What? Oh, okay, I don't know what I did there. Um, formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Oh, oh shit! There's more. I like doing these.
I'm just kind of brute forcing them. Wait a second. Is it like you can't move them if you don't have the card? No, that's not true. Okay. Okay. The monkey brain liked opening the locks, but I didn't get it. I don't get it either. Hey. Whoa, caged wolf. What the fuck was that guy? I think he's in the second column. I don't give a fuck. I'm just <laughs> hitting buttons. I'm sure I'm supposed to understand what I'm doing, but it... I like just brute forcing it. Has to do with the skink card types. Oh. So like these guys... They're like oddly easy to brute force, so that's kind of what's fun for me here. I have no clue. Killing the lizard is blocking the 3 2. This lizard? It doesn't move though. Oh, I see. It's like vertical. In my head, it's going like left to right. Uh, okay. So, oh, oh, I see, I see, I get it, uh, without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless, in time you understand its power, okay, I understand it. This I don't understand. I've been trying to figure that out for my playthrough. Uh, let us continue. Meager coyote, but what did you expect for only four bones? Ferris Rattler. Unkillable Cockroach. Uh, I'm do Coyote. I have like no attack power. You know you're free to get up again. Okay. Top left cabinet. What are you talking about?
Are you saying this one? This one. This is, this one confuses me. I assume I have to do this or something. Anyway. Drop an item turns in. Skip the next turn. You again. Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You got to be, I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in deep this time. I don't remember the voice I did. Um, Another friend. Okay. I'm fucked here, dude. Uh, what can I do? Skink. Uh, when a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail. Okay, yeah. You can do that card setup. I feel like I don't even have the card for that setup. This is like a roguelike. Uh, cat. The venerable alpha. Okay, what does that do? Creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power. Oh shit, it's me! That doesn't look like me. That doesn't look anything like me. Uh, Four bones is pretty crazy. This is, I'm gonna take me. Okay. Voice is yours. <laughs> the fuck is the caged wall? Oh, I guess it's just a blocker. Uh, yeah, if this has protection against fly, that's pretty good. That's good as fuck. What the f I don't know what the fuck this is. Oh, god damn it. Um, okay. 
Okay. Damn, he's gonna fuck me up this turn. Uh, shit. I need to get the fucking wolf out. Uh, God. Alright, uh, 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 shit. Shit. Fuck. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna need this. I have to play that. That. I need to get this fucker out. I have to play him. I'm gonna have to kill that fucker. God dang. Uh, shit. Shit. What does this do? Uh, ant is created in your hand. Oh god, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. All right, four bones. Uh. Hmm. Yo, what's up? All right, let's just see what happens. I might be able to win. God, fuck. Uh, do I have enough bones now? Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Squirrel. Uh. Yeah, literally one of my favorite games. Hell yeah. I clutched that fucking thing out there. Um, okay. Bullfrog. Mantis. Bat. Bat. I feel like a 2-1 bat is better than whatever the fuck this is. Uh, a card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space. But he's only 1-1. One, one. I'm going to do the 2-1 bat. Um, sorry. Someone said Mantis. Okay. Hello. Was this one? I want to get rid of him. I'll do the skink. Was this one again? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, that's pretty good. Give to a wolf. The music does rule. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing though. Uh, I'm not. I know I'm not doing this. Fuck that. Everyone tells me it's fine. Uh. What are you what are you playing? You're playing a wolf cub? What do I got? I got me. Alright, play squirrel. Play an ant. All I can do. Fuck. Alright, uh. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna roll the dice here. Play a squirrel. Boom, boom. Play this fucker. Death touch. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, shit. Please be a bone. Nope. Okay. No. Uh, okay. Squirrel. Uh, three, three, okay. No. All I can really do here. Uh, 
Okay, that was a good block. Uh, shit. Okay. Hopefully I win. No? Okay. No? Alright. Uh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Alright, I'm gonna roll the dice. Yes. I concede? You may accept my surrender? Or you may finish this match the slow way. Uh, I want to win. Sorry, bro. Should win. A. You're winning the trade. Don't be afraid to attack those bigger dudes either. Don't worry, it gets easier. Okay. Um, you must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. One, two, or three. Uh, oh, okay. What were you expecting? I mean, that's fine. Having having easy creatures is good. I like... I'm trying to kind of make this a burn deck. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its powers, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. All right, who? Uh, fuck it, possum. Possum. The power of the possum was enhanced by the warmth. One of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket. We withdrew. I'm always afraid one one of these days I'm gonna get hit by something. Uh, they're gonna just fucking. Low cost and value pile, a true MG, MTG player. Yeah, exactly. My boss battles are high stakes. Tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will enter. You will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. What's the smoke? The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Three bones. Twas the prospector. Hee haw. Oh, I see. So you sacrifice it for bones. Okay. Play that guy. Um, what do I got here? Skunk. What does this do? Okay. What does he have on the field? Damn, it's out the gate. Um, yeah, that's all I can really do. I need to get fuckers out there. I, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a squirrel. Can you not with this shit? Okay, squirrel. Uh, okay, I need attack power, baby. Um, oh wait, maybe if I do this, I'll lose. Maybe. Okay. What the fuck? Uh, shit. Something with bones, please. Yes. All right, possum. Possum is two. Boom. Uh, what does this fucking do? The creature posing a card bearing. The creature posing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. I guess he's at zero. That's what's happening. Um, okay. 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 Play 
squirrel. The worker. Okay. This. All right, we got Johnny on the field. I'm a four-two. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sacrifice these boys, because now I'll get. Whoa. Scared the shit out of me. You want, you want to get on here? <laughs> but I don't know what mic that is. Fucking disgusting. Yeah, this is this is the newest episode of Mega Strange right here. <laughs> what was that one? <laughs> you have to ask. <laughs> I'm gonna clip this out and upload it to the channel. <laughs> oh, I'm dropping frames like crazy right now. You're bringing the stream down, dude. It ain't me, bro. <laughs> Yo, he's he kind of cooking on this one. I swear if this gets me demonetized on YouTube. Give birth to like an alien. <laughs> He's breaking. <laughs> this can't be. A... This has got to be against Twitch TOS. <laughs> God, I'm about to throw up. All right, I'm gonna lower the the mic on that one. That one's fine. It's a nice dog. The dog starts vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> Get my stream demonetized.
It's fine. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. Hey, no, no, fuck.
I'm now the king. I'm the king now. I've done shit like that, I think. <laughs> what? Oh, you've done that before? I put on I put on an ape Fuck. suit and danced the ska. I don't know if that's. Uh, no, that's not the same thing. Can I take this off or do I have to leave it on? You know, that's what King Charles asks every single day. <laughs> Heavy is the crown. The captain eats alone. It's your black scepter, dude. Oh. It's how you lead the black parade. <laughs> when I was. Oh, you can oh you can sing my oh, chemical romance, sorry, but sorry. I can't yeah. sing hey Jude. <laughs> this fucking you're, play you're playing. I ain't fucking discriminated you were playing against it. every stream I'm on. You were playing every it. fucking stream I'm on. I get discriminated against. Oh, Derek's doing something funny. Let's mute him. Let's fucking edit his piece out. Let's <laughs> censor him. Let's have a conversation with him the next day and tell him how he shouldn't do that anymore. And you Whoa. know what, Johnny? Yeah. I never thought you would do it to me. <laughs> and here you fucking are. I'm sorry. You just, you people here at Mega64, you hate to be upstaged. You hate to be outshined. You hate to be outperformed. You, I could dance circles around you while you sit there clicking and clacking on your little keyboard. Ooh, let me check the map. I'm so I don't know where I am anymore. I'm tired of it. Yeah, put the scepter down. Yeah, yeah. you don't deserve this. Take the crown off. You know what? Take the crown off. This is now, this is now Derek TV. Take the crown off. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Derek TV, everybody. It's finally happened. I got a lot of thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody in the in the fandom right now. Everybody who's watching Johnny stream, my thoughts and prayers are with you. Because clearly, he, you've been starving to death out there. It's a, it's a comedy fast. It's a comedy famine. It's an entertainment famine happening out here. By golly, I tell you. And nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to face the truth. But I'll tell you. I'll tell you how it is. I'll tell you the truth. I've run out of things to talk about. Actually, no. You know, I've realized something, Johnny. You could stay over there. Men have to shave their face. <laughs> <laughs> and women, they gotta shave all these explicit parts. <laughs> and that's how I learned that, uh, w that women have it a lot harder than men, I'll tell you what. That's a quote. I'm not making that up. I'm not speaking off the top of my head. I'm just quoting something funny. See, we here at Mega64, we say things that only we understand. It's called inside jokes. <laughs> Oh god, I'm sweaty. Uh, that was that was half speed. What are you playing over here, by the way? Uh, dang, na dag, nabbit. You sound like me. Uh, inscription. Oh, that horror card game. Yeah, I'm like on a boss, so I was like, I don't want to fuck around. Oh my god. So like, if I died, I would have had to start over again. Oh so my I was like, god. <laughs> I let you do the age you did, and I was like, I'm good. I'm done. I'm gonna be leaving in a second. No, I don't need to be here. I've said my piece. I don't want to give too much uh, negative energy to the Johnny to Johnny TV. Yeah, positive energy only. Positive comments only. If you don't have a positive comment, don't make a comment. Only, only be constructive. No criticism. Okay, you got that. Constructive criticism is still criticism. <laughs> Be constructive. Uh, Build something up. What's up? I was trying to think of how to, I can be constructive. Positive affirmation. All right. I don't do fake toxic positivity. 
I don't do po toxic positivity. <clears throat> and you I'll tell you, you why. You don't do toxic toxicity either. I don't do to po toxic toxicity. <laughs> and I learned this by uh, watching and listening to Clelly Clelly Clarkson. Oh. Uh, since you've been gone, Clelly Clarkson. <laughs> I don't do fake positivity. I embrace my dark side. Because if you don't embrace your dark side, dark sided, you're you're not living a full experience. You're only living half of what life has to offer to you. Okay. You want to go through life pretending like, uh, oh, I don't have any negative thoughts. You're a fucking liar. And I have, <laughs> and I have no respect for your lying fucking ass. Okay. <laughs> I know you have negative thoughts. You got that? I know you have negative thoughts. Accept them. Be real about them. Work through them. Learn. Question yeah. your negative thoughts. Why do I feel this way? Why am I bothered so much? Examine that. Then maybe you'll actually make a fucking breakthrough. You'll fucking grow a little bit. You'll actually mature into an actual adult. And then you'll be able to have a little bit of wisdom. Move forward in your life with wisdom and knowledge and confidence. Knowing like, yeah, I've been there. I've been to the dark side and I've come back. I've learned a thing or two. Instead of like, la 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 la. <laughs> Everything is so great. Don't, 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 don't pretend it's not, you guys. Be real. I'm sweating over here. I'm sweating over here. And they got black helicopters flying around, and they're watching everybody. I think you need to announce your uh, run for presidency after that speech, for sure. Like, that was pretty presidential. Um, you, you need to take Ron DeSantos' uh, spot or something. <laughs> <laughs> Ron de los Santos. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I said it before and I'll say it again. What if what if Trump liked to fuck? What Classic. If, what if Trump liked to fuck? Fucking for the little man. I'm voting uh, Joe Biden. Come hell or high water. I'm voting Joe Biden. Uh, Joe Bi Biden in. No Joe Bite out. Yeah, I'm, I'm on like the I'm in like wait and see mode. You're voting Trump. You're a Trumpy. You're a Trump maniac. <laughs> I'm in wait and see mode. I'm not gonna discuss um who I'm voting. Um, and I think it's actually oh uh, rude if I tell you who I'm voting for. Uh, you might judge me. Yeah, I know who you're voting for. I tried to do a bit, you and then you head. fucking, <laughs> you fucking Trump. MAGA Trump, fucking oh New God. Jersey no. Johnny over here. No. Um, uh, I'm just voting for the economy. I don't like New Jersey's that. blue. Um, I'm I'm gonna hold my nose and, and just vote for uh, my uh, the economy. Uh, uh, I hate being poor. Uh, I'm voting for the Green Party. Is that I, still a thing? I hate being poor too. Just want to say, I'm not yeah, sure. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like this, like hard, being hard down, being poor. Real talk. I'm a, I'm a vote for uh, Joe Biden or anybody who promises to take down the uh, capitalist machine. Yeah, the Joe Biden, the post-apocalyptic <laughs> capitalist machine that we are all being forced to work and churn and grind underneath. If somebody's willing to dismantle that, they got my vote. Otherwise, I'm just going to go for Biden. <laughs> now, Doc Ryan's asking where I was January 6th. I was here. Where was Doc Ryan January yeah, 6th? Yeah, Doc Ryan. Breaking Sean's ribs or something? <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ryan's going to be sad. No. Sorry. Sorry, Doc Ryan. Come back to, uh, come back to uh, the Christmas cast next year. And... I haven't seen that belt since Garrett won it. I think he took it home. He did? Fuck. I like that I belt. So. He showed me his uh, ring gear today. Really? Yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. he uh, Is it good? Did you like it? It's pretty good. Uh, I mean, I don't want to speak too much for Garrett, but uh, he said that. I was like, where are you going to have yourself build from? And he said, uh, he's going to be from the inside or uh, from a hot topic in San Diego. Like, that's where he's built from. I, I thought that was great. Uh, but his ring gear was black and green with like green lightning bolts, and then he just uh, stitched his Hailing name. Hailing from a to hot topic in San Diego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this giant dreadlock Frankenstein. Yeah, no, it's good. Comes it's good. Walking out. 
Actually, it's not good. What? I like it. And I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why. It's not no hate towards Garrett, but you guys have just revealed your own ignorance. Okay. And, and I know for a fact exactly the last time you actually stepped into a hot topic. Because if Garrett has walked into a hot topic recently, he would not be billing himself from inside a hot topic. It's all fucking strawberry uh, shortcake dresses and fucking like Sailor Moon and Hello Kitty shit. He still thinks Hot Topic is like Marilyn Manson yeah. and like goth records and like uh, falling in reverse t-shirts. That's like yeah. 5% of Hot Topic. <laughs> the rest of it is like it's fucking the new Sanrio. Uh, I think the public perception of Hot Topic is still the same though. But yeah, I mean, he could be he could build himself from box lunch or or something. I mean, that's I mean, that's pretty lame too. Um he should bill himself from <clears throat> the mall food court. <laughs> Right? Deep within from the mall food court in San yeah. Diego. Yeah. No, we should pitch that to him. He'll from the bathroom, hailing from the bathrooms behind Sabaro Pizza <laughs> at your local mall food court. That's good. It's Strife. I was surprised, though, because I thought he put Strife on the butt, but I think he put it in the front, like right over the his junk. So it says Strife. Nice. And then he made like a little knee pad. I don't train, but I think I can uh, just hop in the ring and have a have a full on ten out of ten match, five star Meltzer style match with Garrett. With anybody? Oh, get in there, lock up. Am I heel or am I face? You tell me. <laughs> I'm heel. <laughs> I throw the first punch, uh, poke you in the eye, do something dirty. I go in for a second punch. You get me with the arm drag takedown. I roll out of the ring. Whoa. We're off to the races. You uh, come out of the ring, you follow me around, I run around in circles, I run away from you, and then uh, I turn around and uh, I throw some sand in your eye when the ref isn't looking. Yeah. Now you're hobbling around, and you're hobbling around for like the next three minutes while I just work you. I work the back of your head, I work the neck, I'm focusing on the neck and the head. I'm trying to break your neck, break your head. <laughs> um, Doing some Sabu shit. Mm -hmm. But then I go and I start working the crowd, and I find a kid in the crowd, and I start talking shit. When the kid's distracting me, that's when you come back, get your come back on me. Get your heat back up. Start working me. We go back and forth. Yeah, this is already a good match. This is just, just coming off the top of my head. Yeah, it's off the dome. And I didn't even train. You're calling in the ring, brother. Now I'm calling it in the ring. Come on. I'm self-taught, too. Did you see that footage of CM Punk uh, blading from uh, Wembley? No. Oh, there was footage. So, like Someone in the crowd got uh, footage of him blading, and it's so insane. He was just like, he had the blade in his hand. He just started doing this. Just hit himself in the head with it. I was like, I didn't oh, know you could do that. Maybe I did see that he just like pokes it. Yeah, he's stuff. like <clears throat> like that. Um, yeah. Apparently, that's so you don't get the scars. You have to fucking jab it. And uh, that made me uh, never want to do that ever. Yeah, not just getting in the ring with a seven foot tall guy punching you in the face. That too. I don't want to do any. I don't want to blade. I don't want to do anything that comes before the blade. <laughs> uh, someone asked what your ring name would be. Uh, that's a good question. What's a good gimmick for me? Um, what's something that's really gonna piss me? And they want to know what your finisher is too. It's like some gold ass. I don't know. Uh, what's a good gimmick? What's a good gimmick? What's a good gimmick? Uh, you're like the director. Nah. That's, okay. I don't know. You can get, you can have like those big puffy pants that like old directors have. I'm gonna be um, and a your shop is called the the slate. I'm gonna be a redditor. Oh, and I'm gonna come out in a Hawaiian t-shirt and some fucking like uh, those uh, high vis HD sunglasses <laughs> <laughs> and some Crocs uh -huh. and some cargo shorts. Why, why are you doing the Crocs? On? <laughs> I mean, I'm not wearing my face. So we're good. Uh, and uh, and my finisher is called the front page. Oh, I was gonna say I, I, that was gonna be called the upvote. Or the downvote. Uh, Kyle Driver. The, the downvote. I got the downvote and the upvote. Those are my signature moves. But my finisher is the front page. Yeah. Reddit gold. Yeah. Reddit, that's another uh, signature. That's the name of my entrance song. <laughs> I'm the Redditor. Gold. Um, oh, and, no. And you're, I'm going to post. You're like, I'm after Redditor gold. And all my promos, I'm, I'm literally just going to post them on Redditor Reddit. gold. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to post them on Reddit. Yeah. And then, and then the Jumbotron is just going to display them. And yeah. I'm going to read them off to you. <laughs> um, This is what I wrote about you earlier today. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Yeah. It's coming off the dome. <laughs> calling it in the ring. 
Um. Okay. No one in the chat has any. Oh, they. Someone said it's hard. Lay gem. I don't know what that means. Uh, don't rely on the chat. Okay. You know, just speak from the heart. Yeah. Because, uh, Chad, I love you, but Johnny's the professional here. Johnny the professional. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other move sets that you could have with that. I think, yeah, the Red Editor, or down vote is a good pile driver. The up vote, was that, like a, maybe like a, a power bomb? I don't do a pile driver. Let's be real. Okay. Uh, I'm not tall enough to do a pile driver. The down vote would be a DDT. Choke slam? Oh, okay. oh, DDT. That's good. The down vote would be a DDT. I'm trying to think of moves that I like. Uh, the up vote would be an atomic drop. Okay. <laughs> right on your tailbone. Tailbone. Uh, probably get like a good bulldog in there. Mm. <laughs> Someone said, or Doc Ryan said the down vote should be a rock bottom. Nah, that's been done. Yeah, that's okay, Doc Ryan. Suplex. I don't know much about like Reddit l uh, lingo. Yeah, right. Oh, you're you're more like a 4chan guy. No. I forgot. No. Why are you trying to make me help <laughs> at some fucking like Trump supporting 4chan? -er. <laughs> you're the one who said don't uh, really want to talk about who. I was trying to be a bit. Uh, it was a bit. I was joking. Is nobody oh, ever dude, sense of humor anymore? Someone said the 4chan heel. That's. I mean. That might... Well, that's who I'll feud with. Yeah. And that's what I'll have my face turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is good. This is good shit. We'll have all internet uh, themed wrestling. You know, I wanted to do uh, Mega Mania Part 2 and have it be a live wrestling event uh, and have all these uh, gimmicks like this in there. But I thought we were going to actually do that. You know what? I think not not enough people in Mega Sixty Four actually like wrestling. That is true. I'm not gonna name names, but some people you really can figure it out. <laughs> some people really don't care for wrestling, and they get annoyed <laughs> when you talk about it. Oh and yeah. When you talk about doing a live wrestling event, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We except should, yeah, it, we should do that, and then they they uh, selectively never talk about it. Ever except again. when it involves anime figs, then they're down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not naming names. <laughs> I'm not naming names. It's a group of it's a group of people working against me here. I can only do so much. I can only do so much to put on brand new, high quality, well thought out entertainment. A lot of times, authority overrules me. Whoa. I'm the king now, so I, I can make the decisions. Yeah, we'll see how, how. Yeah. King Johnny. If you were the king of Mega 64, what would you change? That's a crazy question. Uh. I'm gonna be real. Fuck it. Uh, I would if I could make any decision, I'd put the podcast on a different channel. Yes. The king decrees. I agree with you. On that, that would be that would be my first decree. I agree with you on that. We gotta we gotta clean up the uh, airwaves here. We gotta do a little uh, spring cleaning Organ organization. <laughs> put our house in order. Agree with you there. And then what? We, and then what would King Johnny's second decree be? Uh. I've already proposed that, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't, uh, more skits, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's literally everything. I'm I trying say. to get voted back. I'm trying to get reelected. You're literally uh, speaking my language. I've, I've had these conversations, <laughs> man. And what would your third decree be? Uh, you, you're just hitting all the obvious stuff. Let's go deep. Yeah. Uh, mm. Go deep. Hit me with it, Poppy. <laughs> I'm thinking of funny ones, but I really can't say them. Uh, <laughs> Come on. No, no. They're, they're, Come on. It, it would open up a can of worms. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. We want worms. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm an executive I'm VP. not going to deal with the I'm repercussions. I'm an executive VP of, of this company. You can speak uh, freely here. And, uh. Oh, oh, my third decree, uh, no negative comments. Okay. So now you're just trying to change. The I'll tell you what it is later. You're going to be like, yeah, thank, thank you for not saying it. <laughs> oh, you're going to say something negative about me? No, okay. no, no. It okay. wasn't about you. Wow. Who was it about? About everyone. <laughs> oh, 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 everyone but me, huh? Yeah. Was it about, uh, did it involve, uh. Kevin? No. Everybody but me and Kevin. Oh, another bug stunt. Yeah, mm. that's what I want. Garrett already did bug stunt parts. Yeah, that's true. 
you know, the bug stunt, uh, it was what it was. It could never be recreated. It was just a moment in time. That was beautiful. If it's like, uh, you know, Under Siege yeah. was an amazing movie, and then they made Under Siege 2, and it was a giant stinker. You, know, you can't recreate the magic. It's a one-time event. <clears throat> it w yeah, I wish I was there for that. It was pretty awkward on, <laughs> on camera. Uh... It's legendary. Not for me. It's legendary now. Not for me. Oh yeah. Uh, I I remember a lot of people told me I was rude for doing it, and there was a poll on if I should have done it or not. But and, now that's beloved. Ig fucking exactly. I think people Johnny, were just. But now oh. it's beloved. They were mad just because uh, it cut the podcast short, and it fucking people get pissy yeah. when the podcast oh, is my, different. My podcast was short. My boom. one time seven <laughs> years ago. You know, I'm just ahead of my time. You are. And uh, people can't recognize uh, the real genius in the moment. It takes a little bit of reflection looking back being like, dang, that was special. I didn't realize it at the time. Special. I wish they'd do it again. I'd be ready for it. Then I do something new, brand new, ahead of its time, genius, like singing Hey Jude on your stream. <laughs> <laughs> and people were like, this is weird. That I'm, megaphone uh, hurt my ears. What? What's up? That megaphone hurt my ears. Come on. Well, megaphone was off. <laughs> oh man, bro, <Brocade>, kayfabe. <laughs> I was screaming. I could have hurt your ears. Oh, that yeah. I mean, for I was sure. Screaming, full blast. Well, oh, dude, someone said, "Is this talking strange?" Oh, <laughs> this is not because oh. Johnny will not name his third decree. But on Talking Strange, he will name his third decree. I will. There's a... What is that? Oh, someone asked if there was a Johnny emote, so I just put it in the chat. How many viewers you got right now? 95. This is the most I've ever had because you're here. <laughs> 95? I had like 60 before you this came. This is the least I've ever had. Really? Oh my god. Shit. 95. We when did get, derpy streams used to go? We get, need like, to get at least five more people watching this. So yeah. Tell your wife, tell your kids, tell your mom. We streaming up here. Yeah. Everybody. Secret, secret cast. Actually, it's okay. You don't have to get anybody else in here because I'm about to hit the road. Oh, no. Yeah. You can go back down to uh, 60 Ville. Fuck. Guys, don't leave. Yeah. Please no, don't leave. Leave now. I'll say my third decree if you leave. stay. He's not going to. He's full of shit. He's fucking lying to you. You're, I can't believe you would, you would even dangle the third decree in front of them. Like a fucking liar. I'm about to take this off. Yeah, take the crown off. Leave now, everybody. Uh, because <laughs> Don't I, tell them to leave. Because get out of here. No. Because I'm going to get out of here, and then it's going to go back to... Okay. Um, Don't do an impression of me. Okay, this is a boss battle here. Uh, oh. Oh, he's scary. He's scary up in here. <laughs> I'm so scared, I might have to go put an ape suit on and <laughs> dance <I'm> around. <laughs> So, um, you're not going to want to see that. It's going to be real sad. It's like watching your dad try to be funny. What the fuck? When your friends are in the room and you're like, dad, can you just leave? I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Oh, we lost some people. Nice. Wow. Perfect. Hell yeah. Getting fucking accosted right now. All right. If we can go down to 89 viewers, I will leave the stream. Okay. So if you want them to stay. But I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to hang out until we go down to 89 viewers. So That's fine. Somebody out there is going to have to leave, uh, and then I'll go. But you leave first. You leave. How long have you been streaming for? An hour and 41 minutes? Yeah. Can you catch me up on what you've been doing here tonight? Uh, I talked about hockey, and then I played oh some Inscription, oh, and that, then you showed up. You've been going for an hour and 41 minutes, and you talked about hockey and played description that's all you did they yeah. can do a whole movie in an hour the first indiana jones movie wasn't even an hour and 41 minutes long and the dude went all over the fucking world uh, unlocked the ark of the covenant fought a bunch of fucking fascists hey listen my stream is so i can the guy with a whip decompress and have a good time with uh frank the tank 14 and a uh, battle frog and that's you know that's about it 
You know, I hate being in a chat and people uh, call my name out personally, <laughs> personally. Can I just say? And very, and very rarely I'm funny. Sometimes and then... I'll, t- I'll tune into somebody's uh, Instagram live stream and like, oh, hey, Derek's here. And I'm like, don't say my name. The minute you say my name, I know what you're doing. You're trying to put me on the spot so I can't leave. Well, guess what? Yeah. I leave that very moment. Now you <laughs> look stupid. Now you, oh, Derek's here. Oh, there he went. Oh. Shit. I, oh, with Instagram Live, you you don't know when someone leaves, so they, they they probably just think you're there the whole time. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They know when you show up. Oh my god, dude, that makes me feel so good. <laughs> that makes me feel so good because I always feel like obligated to stay for a little bit, but I really don't want to. I mean, if it's like you're the only person, they'll see the number go down, but that's about it. Mm, yeah, I am often the only person in there. Are we up to 102 right now? There's no way, right? Oh no! Still, no, still ninety one. Yeah, what me? the fuck? You guys lying to me? Turn the chat off, dude. I want to see you minimize the chat. Okay. Oh wow. Good job. Well, shit. Now what are we gonna talk about? I don't know. Uh, you tell me. Classic Dave Meltzer line. You tell me. Oh, uh, no, I had something. Oh, the new Indiana Jones game is yeah. called The Great Circle. <laughs> I forgot. Wow. That's pretty cool, man. That's, we had a long discussion today here at Mega64 about who was excited for Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. I love that you were, like, riffing on it, and then some people here were, w- wouldn't let you have it. They were like, no, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they kept defending. I, I was clearly <laughs> making jokes like, oh, the Great Circle. Wow, this room sure is round. Well, that's why they called it the Great Circle, Dr. Jones. And then somebody just chime in from the next room. Oh, I actually think it sounds really uh, kind of interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, cool, but clearly I'm <clears throat> joking. So oh, yeah. it's okay to laugh. And then I was like uh, watching the trailer and Indiana Jones is like killing everybody with a whip. He walks into a room full of dudes holding machine guns who are firing bullets at him point blank. And he's just hitting them with a whip. And I was like, this doesn't make sense that the room full of guys with a machine gun can't take out one guy with one whip. And instead of like laughing or scoffing or even giving me like a, pff, yeah, I know. They're just like, uh, that's how the movies go. Yeah. He <laughs> so, does that in the movies. It's like, like, okay. Yeah. I guess in the movies, not even really though. Like in the movies, he'll at least like sneak up on a fucking guy, you know, he'll like drop a fucking rock. Off. He's not walking into a room, walking no, into not. the center of the room. They got the fucking triangulated kill zone on him. He's getting shot at from all <laughs> angles, no cover whatsoever. And he's just like, flailing a whip around killing all of them they should make it like a roguelike not how it is in the movies give me a break and when you die you have to like watch all the opening cutscenes again well like because they're all gonna be cinematic it's gonna be like a movie but like you just get shot and you're like oh. you just wake up one hit kill yeah one hit kill <laughs> i hope they make this game insanely dark souls hard dude who, who are the bosses gonna be like are you like is um, it just gonna be like a dude hitler hitler should be a boss wait is he fighting nazis in it I don't know. Because didn't Spielberg say he didn't want to do Nazis as stock villains anymore? Yeah. But I mean, he's not involved. Okay. Kate Blanchett. Can't do Nazis. What year is it set in? Do we know? What, where is, where, how, where, what time period is the Great Circle? We're looking for the Great Circle. Ooh, I hope you're not talking about my waistband, Indy. <laughs> Short round. How'd you navigate this room so quickly? Well, now you know why they call me short round. Hey, you see? Being round is a family tradition. Uh. Oh my okay. God. Is that a corner? It's a trap. It's set in 1937. So pre-Nazis. Okay. It's a prequel. So it's, uh, yeah. Before oh, it's Raiders. Like depression era. Yeah. Maybe the great circle is like a place where they can find some food. Oh, it says it's set between uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark and uh, Last Crusade. So, uh... Oh, wait. Okay, so Raiders happened, and then Temple of Doom was a prequel, and then Last Crusade was the third one. So yeah. now this is, we're inserting into the middle. Yeah, the, even the Wikipedia says this uh, game takes place before the events of World War II. Well, then what year did Raiders take place in? Oh, wait. Oh, it says uh, 36 is where when Raiders takes place. Uh, but they said the enemies will be Nazis, uh, fascist Italians, oh shit. and Japanese. Oh, shit. That's kind of lit. <laughs> it's 
They said they'll all serve as antagonists. Nice. With uh, Nazis playing the main antagonistic role. I mean, I'm down with that. Because you're fighting Nazis who are racist, but then you can be racist against uh... (laughs) 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 as well. Oh, am I coming or am I going? I kind of like these guys. I kind of hate these guys. I feel bad. Uh, it does. I feel freeing not seeing the chat right now and what they have to say about this. I'm telling you. Um, I like that it specified fascist Italians. Yeah, look, that's what it look, says. It says fascist look, Italians. Indiana Jones doesn't have a problem with Italians, and it doesn't say fascist though. He just hates fascist Italians. It, it says Nazi Germany, fascist Italy, and the Empire of Japan. Uh, yeah, dude, that's uh, that's crazy. He's gonna oh, go, it's maybe Beth- he's Bethesda. Gonna, he's going to take down Mussolini himself. That would be cool. Machine Games is the dev. And why they made Wolfenstein. Take, why do you got to throw uh, the Japanese uh, people under the bus? What's Indiana Jones? Like, he's got so much anger in him. He's like, now I'm going to go fucking take all those Japanese while I'm at it. <laughs> he's fucking, I'm tired of kicking ass in Europe. Get, let me get to that fucking island. I'm pissed. Dude, what? Yeah, what if he... Okay, if he goes to Japan... Wait, wasn't he in Japan in Temple of Doom for a second? No, no. Where's it? It opens. Oh, whatever. Um, but if he goes to Japan and he gets a fucking katana or some shit, like a like it's a thirty, so he can get like a legendary katana. That would be cool. Anyway, uh, it's I a- don't think Indiana Jones should be uh, taking on World War II soldiers because you know that's like a real event. What yeah. next? Like, what if Indiana Jones gets bloodlust and then he can't stop and then he like he's fucking he's going to Korea next? He's fighting in the fucking Korean War and then he's like fucking doing all that like. He goes to Vietnam and he starts doing that Cambodia shit, you know. It's like he just turns into a fucking warmonger. He's gonna have like, a. At hollow- what point does the good guy become the bad guy? He's does Indiana g- Jones have a moment where he's like, "I've gone too far. Fuck, I'm a war criminal. <laughs> I didn't know they were kids." I mean, he drank from the cup of Christ too, so he's like M I C K E Y M O U S E. He's gonna have a holiday in Cambodia. Exactly. You get it, dude. Indiana Jones is fucked up if he thinks war is cool. I'm, I'm going to say that. He's a fucking warmonger. Indiana Jones is a fucking war criminal. I'm saying it now. Fucking the great circle is... Hey. Drop this, king. <laughs> yeah. Give me the crowd. <laughs> Heavy is the crowd. I, a modern day Indiana Jones, he'd be doing some fucking like Blackwater shit. <laughs> Uh, we're now, I can't see the chat, but we're losing viewers like crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Violated Twitch terms of yeah. service. Uh, it's a violation of terms of service to talk about war criminals on your <laughs> game stream. This is the plot of Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Uh, all right. Well, that was the Indiana Jones talk. I that guess I have the- nothing else to say. Yeah. About that. Like we did a little mini podcast. Uh, Okay. What time is it? <laughs> uh, it is eight forty-four. Damn, dude, have I been here for like an hour already? Kinda, yeah. Holy shit! Time flies, everybody. Exactly. Are you gonna? Are you staying on? We're well, still, we're still at ninety-eight viewers. Yeah, I said I'd leave when we hit eighty-nine. Yeah, I think you're just here forever now. What's another game I could shit on? Uh, the Great Circle. Raiders of the Lost Ark, The Temple of Doom. The Last Crusade. Yeah. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. What's the new movie called? The new one? Yeah. Dial of Destiny. Yeah, that that sucks too. That movie fucking horrible. I didn't see that movie. Uh, but guaranteed the Great Circle is going to be the worst of them all. I mean, it's a video game, so you can't compare it to a movie. What was the LucasArts game called? That that one? Tell, a- uh, the Fate of Atlantis? Okay. Well, isn't there like rocks. the infertile, infertile machine? In, infertile machine. The infertile machine. <laughs> what's, what's that one called? <laughs> you had a Freudian slip over there, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what your old girlfriend used to call you. <laughs> uh, uh, what the fuck is it called? I never played the infernal machine, infernal if that is machine. in fact a game, but I played Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Yeah. Uh, which was a point and click adventure by LucasArts. Came out in the 90s, and that game rules. I've always wanted to play it. I, I, I want to play it like all the LucasArts. Dude, point if clicks. you play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis on this stream, I will come look over your shoulder and guide you. <laughs> sure, I'm down. I know all the secrets. I beat the game. I beat the game when I was in like fifth grade. 
Oh, the Infernal Machine. That was a um, N64. Yeah, that was an N64 game. I hear this game is horrible. Though. Yeah, this is what the Great Circle is gonna be like. Yeah, they're just gonna... fucking updating <laughs> <Yeah>. this shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you see this shit? Jesus Christ! They can't see it, but what the fuck? It's Indiana Jones. He's looking like a hungry Ethiopian kid, and he, honestly, he looks angry. He looks like he's gonna do some crazy violence. So yeah, it doesn't look I'm good. I'm telling you, Indiana Jones is problematic, dude. And Kate Blanchett's in, in here before she was in the movies. I was also speculating, like, oh, maybe this game is first person because they don't want to get the likeness to Harrison Ford. Uh, but that was an argument. Hey, nobody can even like entertain just funny banter. Everything is like a contentious once they conversation. Li- once they like something here, they're just unwilling. Everything to is a joke contentious conversation. You make a joke and like, um, actually, uh, that's not real. <laughs> um, what you said is not true. It's like I know it's not true. I'm just fucking shooting the shit. You just fucking make fun of Indiana Jones every once in a while. That's why I like this stream. I have the freedom. Yeah. To just talk some shit. Talk some shit. Talking shit. With Derek Acosta. Um what uh what else? What's what's big in the news right now? Uh we could I could I'll pull up the news. Yeah, pull up some video game news. Oh, video game news. What should I play, chat? Oh, the chat's down. Oh, I, what am I gonna play next? Oh, what is that? The Pokemon ripoff? Pal oh, yeah. Land? Pal World, yeah. Pal World. Um yeah, everyone's telling me to play this. I don't. I have no interest. Yeah, Pokemon with gun. Uh, you know what I want to play is a uh, House Builder. House Builder just came out. It's a house building simulator. Okay. It look you have to do all this like menial shit, like put roofing tiles on your house and like lay the foundation. I think I'm gonna play House Builder, and then I'm gonna get so addicted to it, I'm just gonna start modding my house, like <laughs> add a third story, add a fucking like turret to it. Like, oh. A tower. It, I think this might be the same dev as a. Uh... Power wash simulator. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was at the mall and I saw this uh, kid come out of GameStop so giddy with a game in his hands. And I'm a gamer, so I was curious. So I kind of like creepily walked close to him and like <laughs> gave him the side eye to see what he was. And he was holding a power wash simulator. I was like, damn, these are what the kids are into these days. Bro, instead of paying Dude. 50 bucks for a power wash simulator, I'll give you five bucks and you can wash my car. <laughs> I'm going to play Pool Cleaner Simulator. Like, I, I, dude, I watch so many videos of pool cleanings on TikTok. This is my shit. Sorry. Damn, dude. It's been a lonely couple of months for you. Yeah, it? dude. <laughs> Sometimes you got to. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this one's full of blood, though. Look. <laughs> uh... I've been watching so many pool cleaning videos, just hours and hours and hours. <laughs> you, you know, it's just like it, it uh, numbs the pain a little bit you to know, see like a nice pool get clean. You come into work sometimes, you're like, I'm so fucking tired. I didn't get any sleep last night. Now, now you know what I'm, you're watching. Now you know what I'm doing. Pool cleaning videos till <laughs> three in the fucking morning. Sometimes. Come on. The dirtiest game of the summer. Ooh, now you got my attention. Yeah. How much is this? Are you really going to get pool cleaning simulator? Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I'll put it on my Steam Deck. It's dude. What's $10? Though. I will give you $10 and you can clean my car. <laughs> and I'll film it and you could you could stream it. But pool cleaning is cooler. Car cleaning simulator. Car cleaning reality. Look at this. You get to clean. It's like full of blood. There's like a like a What happened in there? I don't know. Some like satanic shit. Oh. That sucks. I love that the rev- <laughs> reviews are mixed on this. Uh <laughs> mix you know i don't recommend this game when it comes to a pool cleaning simulation they could do a lot better i was expecting uh way more depth and fidelity uh to the pool cleaning experience and it just not live up to my expectations i really wanted to enjoy this game however this game is just far too sensitive i felt uncomfortable headache and dizziness hold on sorry oh. i really wanted to enjoy this game You've already lost me because this yeah. person's a fucking loser. <laughs> I really wanted to enjoy pool cleaning. I really wanted to. Oh, I thought about it all day. I wanted to enjoy cleaning the pool so much. And then I turned it on and it disappointed me. And now I'm writing about it. So the whole <laughs> world knows how upset I am with my pool cleaning experience. This person said, very cool podcast game. <laughs> <laughs> These people are so snarky. Need more Sorry. ducks, please. I'm aging out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I really, uh, no more late night coffee. Oh yeah, I drank, I made coffee and I drank all of it. I'm fucking zooted right now. This uh, is a podcast game. This is what the liberals play. Too many bugs. Oh no. 
Okay, well, that's legitimate. Yeah, that's right. an actual criticism. I'll give them, you know, broken clock is right twice a day. Too many bugs. Wait, they had to clean too many bugs? Like the pool was Yeah, I don't know. I, that's what I want to know. Pool cleaning is too woke. <laughs> I agree with you, Platinum Sarge. Pool cleaning is too woke. You get, what? Well, first of all, first of all, you got girls wearing bikinis in the pool, which I don't think they should be allowed to do that. Yeah. Frankly, no skin. They should be wearing a full length ankle to ankle and to wrist bathing suit. Just like God intended it. Just like God intended it to woke. Next, you're splashing, so I have to say the words wet. What was that face for? I don't know. The way you said wet, you went wet. Yeah. Yeah, because pools went woke, and I don't like it. <laughs> so you, you guys, this is what I'm talking about. I try to, I try to bring a little levity to the stream, and I get, I get scowls. <laughs> I get, you know, a lack of appreciation. Um, I'm watching some footage of it. I, I think this would would make me dizzy for sure. Too sensitive. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, this looks fun. I'd play this. Come on, who's giving this a bad review? Yeah. Oh, you're not even showing this to the chat. Huh? No, no. I mean, I. All can, right. I well, can. guys, uh, power washing an empty pool, and he's getting all the slime and algae off the walls and floor. But it also looks like he's floating over the pool. He's clearly not standing on the edge of the pool. Yeah. Anymore. And uh, he has, he's about 95% done cleaning the pool. Uh, oh, but the hose won't reach to the other side. Oh, he has to, yeah, he's flying, dude. He's like fucking he's, Neo. Yeah, he's no clipping through this pool. He's like doing this fucking levitation Hellraiser shit. <laughs> What's he's happening? Fucking like demonious cleaning this pool over here. <laughs> like he's fucking Regan in The Exorcist. Feet, feet ain't even touching the ground. It'd be cool if you had to clean a pool, but there was like um, a possessed girl having an exorcism in the middle of it. That would be cool. You know? And then every once in a while, the priest would be like, oh, uh, hit her with some holy water. <laughs> you got to wash the the satanus off of her. Satanus. Uh, hit I, her okay. with the sanitizer. So I found someone playing the blood level. <clears throat> but it looks kind of boring. Yeah. I want to see what, how the pool got so bloody. Are there like funny cutscenes where you're talking to like some sweaty like uh like a uh, Ted Bundy dude who's like, "Oh, you have you have to clean my pool. Don't ask me what happened in there." <laughs> That's a way better game. Yeah, there's a uh, there's emails. Okay. Uh, it says uh Pool Cleaning Simulator review coming in, everybody. Thank you for joining. We got 100 viewers here. Johnny's reading 101. He's reading an email that is featured in Pool Cleaning Simulator. There was an incident at my pool lately. Such a tragedy. Someone was murdered, and police left me your contact for potential cleaning, which I needed immediately. Okay, what is this, a fucking visual novel? Why yeah. Is this, why does the pool cleaning game have so... All you need to say is, hey, had a party, bunch of kids shit in my pool. <laughs> How much? What's the What's the fee? Yeah, the rest of this is really boring. Yeah, now I understand the negative reviews. Yeah. My negative review of this game, go on Steam and type this up, boring emails. Boring emails? You have to read boring emails. Too many boring emails before you get to clean the pool. Dude, you just entered a code in, and it was legit 69420. That's so lame. It's anyway. funny, man. It's funny. I probably should show chat what I'm looking at, but I don't feel like setting it up. Nah, you don't have to do that. Okay. Let's see you uh, hit this boss, your inscription boss. Oh. Let's get back to you doing some. I want to see you gaming, bro. Um, How long have I been here? Like an hour? No way. For real? I think so. Or like 40 minutes. You're joking. Oh, my God. How do I? I told my wife I was going to be on for 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope uh, she's watching. Fuck, I don't know how to go back. I hope she tuned in. She okay, did. cool. Can what you see? What the fuck is that thing? It's the prospector. God, that's loud as fuck. I was, I think I was about to win. I don't know. You named a card Johnny? Yeah, when you die, uh, they make you take a card, or make a card. And uh, I made a joke where I was like, oh, I hope it doesn't take access to my webcam. And people were like, haha. I was like, is it gonna access my webcam? Apparently this game like fucks with you. That's what, all I've ever heard about it. But I don't know much. Oh, I have to draw a card. That's okay. You can pay attention to the game. Okay. Looks stupid anyway. What the fuck? Looks like uh, Magic the Gathering. Nerd shit going on here. It looks like you're uh, just your regular Saturday at the comic book store. 
uh, with a couple of middle-aged guys. Uh, they have girlfriends that they just don't hang out with them. Okay, I won, but I think I have to beat him twice. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. I'm just kidding. I'm, I want to get into Magic the Gathering, actually. I love Magic. You, you were saying you want to get in Commander, right? I got a buddy who used to host D&D games, Dungeons & Dragons games at his house, but he hasn't hosted it. This guy's cool, by the way. I just have to preface the story with this guy is cool. I think they know who, who it is, right? We're not going to name okay, names okay, here, but he used okay. to host uh, Dungeons & Dragons uh, games at his house. He hasn't hosted one in a while. I saw him the other day. I was like, what's up? And he's like, oh, I got into Commander, Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah, I spent like $3,000 on cards last year. Like, damn. Dude, you have to like try really hard to, to fucking drop 3k in magic. Like, what are you buying? Are you buying like the rarest cards ever? I didn't ask. I didn't ask. That but I want to get into Magic the Gathering because I got the Evil Dead pack from oh, yeah. uh, Secret Lair. And I got the uh, fucking Wizard of. Uh, Wizard of I bought this so long ago, but is it an uh, artist that I follow on Instagram had his own like Magic the Gathering secret layer drop, and I got that too. So I got some rare Magic the Gathering cards that I could throw in my uh, my old decky poo. <laughs> right, I'm like deep in thought here. Uh, I think I play this. Uh, I, play this. I thought this was stout, and the chat made fun of me. It's a stoat. I don't know what the fuck a stoat is. You got stout, you got IPA. Yeah, that's what they said too. They're like, you that's got, a beer, bro. You got Pilsner. Uh, fuck, what should I do? So is this game gonna jump scare you at some point? No, I don't, like it's just, I think it's just like an ambient vibe. I don't know. Uh, The person who told me about it said there were moments in this game that they wish they can experience again. Um, Cause it got so strange. Uh, and the chat was telling me that I could just do whatever I want, no matter like if I'm doing it poorly, and the game kind of just keeps going, which I appreciate. But I've died like three times already, and I keep having to redo the same boss over and over again, and kind of driving me crazy. Uh, okay, I'm going to do. You mentioned uh, poorly, and it reminded me of the poorly played. Stream. Oh yeah, tomorrow. And we recorded a friend dimension today with Garrett, uh, me, Garrett, and Sean, where we played. Uh... Mario Kart. Uh huh. And Garrett confessed that he does not own Mario Kart on Switch. Really? Because he owns it on Wii U. <laughs> That's the way he is with, uh, 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 not Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild. He owns it on Wii U. And I was like, so what do you do when, uh, when you want to play Mario Kart? And he's like, oh, I load up the Wii U. And I'm like, you make people play the Wii U? That console's like a decade old. Legit. Like, the Switch has been out for seven years. Mario Kart's the number one selling game on the Switch. I'm kind of fascinated, actually. I'm, this is like uh, lost media. I kind of want to go to his house and play Mario Kart on the Wii U. Like, compare and contrast. Does he have the new levels? Are they, like, releasing new level DLC on the Wii U Mario I, Kart? I think the Wii U marketplace is closed. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, how's he getting all the fucking DLC? I have no clue. It's only on Switch, said uh, Watto. Des nuts. Des nuts. Well, kudos to him. He's, uh, you know, he's got scruples. He is not a man who is going to be intimidated by the Nintendo corporate of uh, Corporation of America. He will not bend the knee to capitalist Nintendo. <laughs> You will fight back. It's like a Mario Kart revolutionary. What happened? You I got won. I didn't shit. think I was about to win. <laughs> the prospector. Leave now. And go back to prospecting gold. This here's the wildest game in the wilderness. I get a rare card. Oh, shit. Uh, I got the pack rat. Uh, prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Act. Do you get to see all the cards? Yeah. Do you get all three of these? No, no. I he just shows me them. I have no words for this freak of nature. Oh. <laughs> the long elk. Uh. Oh, brutish strength. Who are you? No Lee? explanation. Uh. Okay. Kind of. I'm kind of digging the long elk, but. Yeah, me too. And it has a touch of death when a card bearing the sigil damages another creature. 
the creature perishes. It's just very like these all cost so much, but the this guy's a seven seven for but uh, you have to sacrifice sacrifice four to get him on the field. I don't do math. Let's just go with the long elk. But he's only a one two. Yeah, but he's got secret powers that you don't perceive yet. Okay, I'll do long elk. Never underestimate a long elk. Because he, he takes bones over sacrifice, so I think okay, it's better. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You beat the first level. Uh, with the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. So this is what everybody was watching before I got here. Crazy, man. I could get up, though. Look at this. Dude's like playing cards here. Yeah. Chat, tell me how much you're enjoying watching me play this, right? Yeah, chat. I'm reading the chat right now. Tell me how much oh. you're enjoying. And don't bullshit. Just be honest. <laughs> don't be fuck? like overly negative for no reason. I know you want to. I know you got those uh, intrusive thoughts. Don't be toxically positive because I hate that shit. Be real. Toxically positive. Be real. Be real. We fucking love Johnny TV. Yeah, but are you enjoying this game? I've never seen this game before. It looks okay. All right. Okay. All right. We got some real realness. Loving it. Okay. Seven out of ten. Good time. Honest review. Never played this game, but I'm enjoying it because it does really, really remind me of magic. Okay. There you go. I couldn't get past this part because I am bad at card games. Okay, that's not really commenting on if you're enjoying this or not. You're just, <laughs> you're just talking about yourself. Old Chris, any any time to talk about yourself, you're going to take it, huh? Old Chris, a little bit of narcissism there, but that's okay. We're going to let it slide. We're not going to call attention to it. Johnny should stream creepy games more often. Okay. Sucks I haven't watched it yet. Oh, this is funny. Oh, oh this is making jokes. The thing that sucks is I totally want to stop playing because it's been fucking two hours. But once you, I think once you exit out, you just lose all progress. Sorry, Derek. I am enjoying the stream way. Oh, very much. You don't have to apologize to me. That's, oh, that's oh, old that's Chris, old Chris. Chris. Yeah, okay, I forgive yeah, you. New Chris hates it. I forgive you, old Chris. You devilish narcissist, you. I've never played a Diablo game. What? Yeah. Sorry, I just peeked the microphone. Bro, <laughs> fine. Diablo 4 is out. Diablo 3 uh -huh. was great. Diablo 2 is perfect for your stream. Diablo Which one 2, has the cow level? I've always wanted to see that. Pretty sure that's Diablo 2. Diablo 2 came out in 1996. It was the first game that was a gig. A gig? If I remember correctly, it was a full gig. Oh, oh that's what you mean. And uh, Diablo 2 is a gaming classic. Diablo 2 Remastered is great. It's remastered? No, do the original. Okay. Do the. I want shitty pixel... Shitty pixel graphics. You would love Diablo 2. I've never played an RTS. You're reading fucking... Uh, it's not an RTS. It's like a point-and-click uh, isometric action. Like, you uh, move around and click on stuff to hit it. And I guess it is like... RTS to me is you're controlling troops. You're highlighting. Yeah. Like, okay, this bunch of soldiers. Send them over here. Okay, these guys are building. This is... You have one character and you walk around, uh, you know, like clicking on the enemies you want to kill. Look at that. Doesn't it look fun? It does. Is it like a roguelike? Like, do you, if you die, you have to start over? Mm, you start over, but the level doesn't change. You, okay. You know, you go back to your save point. I would 100% play this. That's You should be doing that next stream. Diablo yeah, 2 I'll do it. is a classic. You're going to have a great time. I don't know if I can emulate the original, though, because it's PC. But I could definitely get the remaster. Way. If that's okay. No, no. <laughs> No, you have to get the original. Where do you get the 1996 version? I would have to, like, I don't know how you emulate old PC games. Did Blizzard fucking fuck this up? No, it's just, it's hard to emulate PC games, I think. What do you mean emulate? It's a PC game. It's You have a PC. Yeah, but I don't think it runs on Windows 11 or the fuck. Why the fuck not? Does GOG have it? That would be, let me check. You're telling me Windows 11 can't handle Windows 95 technology? That doesn't make any, that does not compute. Gog only has resurrected. Uh, what's it? Diablo two plus LOD? I don't know what that means. Uh, plays the new version plays the exact same, and you could change it to the old graphics. Uh, nope. <laughs> no, not gonna. We're accept just that. not gonna tell him. Um, <laughs> not gonna accept that. Uh, okay. 
Dude, that cover is iconic, though. Yeah, I think I have uh, that box somewhere Oop. in my house. What just happened? Like in a basement or something. I'll dig up the original, uh, give you the CD, and you can just install it. Yeah. Windows 95 style. Yeah, it came out in 2000, so it was probably like Windows ME or what the fuck. Came out in 2000? That's what it says. Maybe the original Diablo was 96. Yeah. I'm getting confused. I'm old. Did you did you have Windows ME when you were a kid? That shit sucked ass. Yep. Had Windows ME. I had Windows Vista. Had Windows uh, XP. I was on XP for way too long. That was such XP a good... was the best. Yeah. Had Windows 98. Had Windows 95. Had Windows... Windows? Came out in like 19... I think I'm going to play this Resurrected version. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Play Resurrected, but put it in the old graphics. <laughs> I like that it's on Switch. Really? Yeah. Dude! That's what I'm saying. It's 40 bucks though. It's worth it. It's one of the greatest fucking games ever made. Look at this. Look at this trailer here. Give an honest reaction. React in okay. real time. Evil has been resurrected. I don't like these new graphics. Does that look like the old ones? No, that's updated. I mean, it is an isometric game. Like, it's pixelated as shit. Yeah, the I wonder one. if they'll show, like, oh, you know. Is that the old See, graphics. look, this is, like, very uh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I mean, I've seen... Oh, they didn't show it at all. Uh, But uh, I've seen screenshots from Diablo and stuff. I kind of knew what the vibe was. Yeah, but... Go to a YouTube video. Retro graphics, so you can change your armor and load out. Retro mode. Or it's called legacy mode. All right, this is modern. Modern graphics. Okay, look at that run cycle. Looks good. Fucking chop. The Character oh. has a nice ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why did, oh there you go that oh it's awesome. in four three yeah that's great super uh, i would only want to play it like this it yeah. looks so much better that's what i'm saying dude there's an aesthetic here i like the little map classic graphics yeah it's very like comforting to play a old pc game that has those like oh yeah they do the modern graphics look like shit that's what i'm saying dude i love the little hud though new equals bad the like angel and fucking devil yeah. Is there like a mechanic where you... Oh, oh, it's life and mana. I thought it was like, oh, if you do bad shit, you fill up one and the other. Uh, no. What do they call that? It says it's mana. So it's like your... Uh, what do they use spells? They have like morality like mechanic or something? I don't know. Oh, do they have that? No, I don't think they do. Um, someone's talking about Hades. Don't think... get me started on Hades. I beat it, <laughs> and I'm not... I'm not I beat it and they sent me back to hell. So, the game sucks. Isn't Hades 2 coming out soon? Probably. That's something I know. Oh, yeah. Wait, is it out? No, it's not out yet. Oh, you play as girl Hades now. I have a list of games that I uh, am planning on playing. First of all, right now I'm playing Moto Fest The Crew, so everybody can make fun of me if you want, but I'm playing a stupid single-player racing game, and I've been playing it since Christmas, because I bought it for myself on sale. I went to Best Buy, and I got the last copy there on sale. Awesome. Moto Fest The Crew. I also, for Christmas on Amazon, bought uh, Dying Light 2, which I haven't even opened yet, and I want to try that. I'm not super excited to play it, but I was watching a lot of... Uh, Dawn of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead. I started reading George Romero's zombie book, and I was like, I want to play a zombie video game. I played Project Zomboid on Steam for a little while. while. Zomboid. Uh, game was too scary. I really? Know. I think that's the name of the game. It's like it's It looks like Diablo 2. It's an isometric game where you're trying to survive a zombie infestation, but mm. it, it, there was such a high learning curve, I just like kept getting eaten. Doc Ryan asked if we care about the new Yakuza game. Look who you're talking to. Yeah. <laughs> Does it look like I care about the new Yakuza game? Doc Ryan, Creepy Old Crypt is on Thursday, okay? <laughs> oh, no, it's Future Probe. Future Probe is on Thursday, okay? You can save all your Yakuza questions for that stream. Uh, I played the one before this new one, and I didn't. it didn't really click with me. It's silly and fun, but, like, I don't know. 
You know what I want to play? I already mentioned House Builder. Deep Rock Galactic. Deep Rock Galactic. Deep Rock Galactic. Is that a kid? Is that a little kids game? Chat, you let me know. Should I yeah, play Deep Rock know, Galactic dude. or not? Tekken it's like, Eight. It's like Minecraft with guns. Someone said Deep Rock is dope. Okay. Okay. Doc Ryan said it's good too. So there you go. Yeah. We know what he said about Bad Teacher, though, right? Yeah. Oh, so now I'm it's a little sus. <laughs> oh, Doc Ryan, you're a good sport. Let Someone me, says it's better with friends. Let me talk some shit on. Thanks, buddy. Uh, yeah, it is better with friends. Clearly, it's like uh, you go to a foreign planet with guns and you start mining the planet looking for ore. But the deeper you dig, you dig until you find something. And then down there is like the fucking. Balrog and oh. the fucking Watcher of the Lake, a bunch of like tentacle shit and giant monsters that are hidden in the center of the planet. So you got to go deep to get the good ore, but there's fucking Cthulhu ass <laughs> monsters down there. But you got guns and friends, so you fuck them up. It sounds great. There's that. This is, reminds me of that game that everyone's playing that's kind of like the new Among Us, where you're like on a crew of like space dudes and you have to do various like activities, but then you start getting like haunted by. What's that game called, chat? It's like backroom shit. You know, a friend of mine recommended uh, the movie 65. Lethal Company. What's what, 65? Oh, oh. <laughs> I heard that was bad. I heard it was bad too, but my friend was like going off about it. And he's like, it's Adam Driver just shooting a bunch of dinosaurs with a machine gun. He's like, it's badass. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, I've heard everyone, uh, people I know who started it were like, this should be fun. What, in 65? A, yeah, in a bad way. And then they're all. Everyone I know who's, who watched this said it was bad. Just genuinely bad. Like, it wasn't fun. Mm. Um, mm. But those are, like, my New Jersey friends. So I don't you take them with a grain yeah, of salt. Yeah, it's my friend who, like, watches everything. You know, not Garrett. Different Yeah. Friend. But he's one of those people who, like, watches everything and everything is good. Like, everything gets a high recommendation. That's like my friend Jesse. He's like, bro, you got to check out Black Mirror. And I'm like, yeah, I, I get it. Black Nothing against Black Mirror, but. Everybody recommends Black Mirror. I need the deep cuts. Deep cuts. Okay. Uh, what have I been watching lately? We saw Poor Things together. You yeah. and me. Loved it. Yeah, I really liked I it. I loved it. It was fucking funny. I love Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, he was great. He's uh, He got nominated for an Oscar for it. I watched uh, the Hammer Horror films with Peter Cushing, the first two Frankenstein movies. Okay. Those were great. I need to keep a list of all the crazy shit I've been watching. Uh, I know it's lame to say, but are you, are you on Letterboxd? I was on Letterboxd before anybody. I put a bunch of uh, shit on Letterboxd like 10 years ago. Yeah. And now I don't waste. I don't need. Oh, you don't have to give your opinion. You could just like, I liked it just for like, you can see what you watched and when. I guess, you know. Because I forget. I don't need to. I don't, I don't need. To yeah. Anywhere, you know? That's just me. No, no shade if you do it yourself out there i just don't need to like meticulously track what i'm watching or let anybody know what i'm i'll just tell you in person if i see you in person i'll be like hey i saw this cool movie lately uh but of course i can't so um i want to ask if i played lies of p i have not wait i keep forgetting there's a new creep show creep show three Oh, yeah, there's, like, a TV show. Uh, I heard the new Creep show is super low budget. I don't yeah. Know, not the TV show. There's a comic out. Comic is uh, supposedly pretty good. I think Rob Schraub helped on the Creep show TV. By the so. way, axe to grind. Oh. Somebody fucking commented, and I'm not going to say where, but left <laughs> a fucking comment today talking shit about me. I don't know why. I haven't even been on camera in a fucking year. A and people, and people are still fucking talking shit about me. I really resent. <laughs> That's, I Return re fire. I really resent it. And they said they were criticizing my comic book, saying it's late. The comic book is not late. Nope. The comic book was slated and has always been slated for a March release. And we are still on schedule exactly. for a March release. It's not late. You are slow. You uh didn't read... <laughs> the Kickstarter properly. They probably didn't even. Yeah. They probably didn't even. Support yeah, they probably didn't the know, donate to it. Um, did someone uh, someone asked if you found any cool VHSs lately? Other plural. 
Oh, somebody's trying to butter me up for some good <laughs> conversations. <laughs> Fuck yes, I've been finding badass VHSs lately. And in fact, I made my very first VHS mixtape and I gave it to Garrett for Christmas. And I have, I've made three copies of it. I gave one to Garrett. I mailed one to our, my friend, our good friend, West, who got me into v- uh, VCRs and VHS tapes and mixtapes to begin with. And I'm sitting on a third one and I'll probably record two more copies of it. Put okay. it on my Instagram and just say, Hey, who wants these? But it is called, I don't know if Garrett's already talked about this. This is a Christmas gift I, I made specifically for him. It was called Nirvana, the concert my parents wouldn't let me go to. Because a year ago on the podcast, Garrett was saying that he always felt bad that his parents wouldn't let him go to see Nirvana in San Diego because he was like 12 years old when they came to play here at the sports arena. And then shortly after that concert, Kurt Cobain died and Nirvana broke up. And the San Diego show is widely regarded as one of the best Nirvana concerts of all time. And he said that he used to have a VHS tape of the concert, but he lost it. I found the footage of the show and the audio had been remastered, but I didn't stop there. I found local TV commercials promoting the show. That's cool promoting the show to sell tickets and the commercials are awesome because they're like it's better than Nirvana it's better than Prozac it's Nirvana <laughs> which I just think is funny I don't think they'd say that on TV now I found commercials advertising the album at the time in utero the commercial promoting the show said Bobcat Goldweight was going to be the opening act I tracked what? down audio of Bobcat Goldweight doing some Nirvana stand up for the opening act, I included that in the show. Side note, I love his stand-up. It's so fucking strange. It anyway, is. Continue. I tracked down news footage from the show, from outside the show, where the local news filmed teenagers in line for the show and interviewed people going into the show. So I create. I tried to create the full experience for Garrett. Like This is what it would have been like if you were watching TV and you saw the commercials to buy the tickets. This is what it would have been like if you were standing outside in line to go into the show. This is what it would have been like when you were watching the opening act before the show. Then it's the full show. Then I track down backstage footage of Kurt Cobain, Courtney, and the rest of the band coming off stage. And like Kurt Kurt and Courtney are like arguing about some shit and smoking (laughs) cigarettes. And the guy who's filming it is getting yelled at and he has to cut the camera. Then I found some uh, kind of unrelated, but it was an interview from the same era, 1993, where Kurt Cobain and Chris Novoselic and the Buzzcocks, I believe, are all hanging out at a table. And some dude comes up and starts interviewing them and clearly annoys the shit out of all of them. So they all start like ribbing on him. And eventually they all like get up and leave one by one until at the end, it's just Chris Novoselic like insulting this guy to yeah. his face. It's Nardwar, dude. It wasn't Nardwar. I put that in there, and then in 1991, Nirvana played at a local record store here in San Diego called Off the Record, which Garrett told me, I used to go into Off the Record, and I would always see photos from that performance. That performance is on there as well. So it's like a two-hour and ten-minute tape. It's all of that in there. It's the full experience. It's the full uh, Nirvana San Diego experience. I made it. It's my first tape ever. Garrett and West are the only two people in the world who have a copy of this tape and myself. I will probably make two or three more of these. Yeah, people a couple people in chat want it. Well, there's probably gonna be like two or three more of these in existence ever. Oh, and then I made a custom cover uh for the clamshell as well. Do you have any photos of it? I'll post them on my Instagram when the tape is done. But there's a custom cover, a uh, picture for the front that I photoshopped, and then a pl- uh, track listing on the back of everything that's on the tape. Okay. So uh, I put that uh, together. I'm really proud of it. I'm going to be making a wrestling mixtape next with some of my favorite matches mixed in with like comedy skits and music videos. And it's just going to be like hours of craziness. That'll be coming out soon. I've really just been enjoying mixtapes. Uh, I got a bunch of like Christmas. Mixtapes, you got me 
Everything is terrible. Oh yeah, yeah. Doggy woggies and poochie woochies, <laughs> yeah. which is like a compilation of funny dog clips. And you also got me uh, everything is terrible kids show, which I like even better. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I want to see those. Um, yeah, we should watch them. Kids show had me fucking. Dying. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. They just edit mostly like educational and Christian children's programming, um, but they take it out of context, so it's so fucked up. It's like a girl walks up to like this chubby little like ten year old. She's like, "What's wrong, Billy?" And he's like. I was on the internet the other day, saw some things I didn't like, <laughs> and then it just cuts to like some fucked up shit. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, those everything is terrible VHSs are good. I've been getting a lot of wrestling um, VHS tapes. I really love. I got a Vince McMahon versus Stone Cold their feud, but it's just the promos and none of the matches. That sounds so, so lit. And it's so it's like an hour long, like awesome saga from the Attitude Era that was great. Um, I watched Bad Boys on VHS recently, Ooh. which I I probably watched that movie a hundred times as a kid, and then haven't seen it in twenty years. So going back and revisiting movies you watched a lot on VHS when you were younger, and then you watch them again now, it's like a nostalgia trip. It like throws you back in time. Yeah, I got you uh, this movie that I, like was uh, wondering what you think about it. I'm like so afraid that you might hate it, but I I got you the film Miss Forty Five on VHS. Okay. Um famous Abel Ferrara film that uh, they showed me in film school and it like fucked my day up. So I'm interested to know what you think about that movie. <laughs> um, I'll check that out. Oh, and another mixtape I got during Christmas time. I don't remember what it's called, but I got a mixtape from uh, this company, not a company really. It's a dude. Really? Let's call it a label. Let's call it like um, a, a collective. It's called dead media junkies. And he did a mixtape of all Christmas content, but it's all horror themed Christmas content. So it's like, um, um, and all through the house, the tales from the crypt, yeah, Santa Claus killer. That's a great. And then there's a um, tales from the dark side. Um, God, what was it called? It was something like the the Grizzler or the Grundle, but it was like some the Christmas Grizzler. monster, the Rizzler, the Giat. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was just like all fucked up and comedy stuff, like um, that show, The State. Had like oh, yeah. a Christmas episode where they like suck Santa's dick or something. <laughs> I don't know. I, that, that shit was wild. I love everyone in the state, but I haven't seen any like a skit from the state that actually made me go like, this is funny. But I, I love everyone involved for sure. But that one sounds great. Uh, there was one part of that that made me laugh, but I don't remember the joke. But I was like, that joke is actually pretty funny. Um, I think I prefer Stella. Like all of them are in the state, I think. And it, then it may have been Stella. Yeah. It, it may. I, I, I always get those two mixed up. It, and, may, it may have been Stella. Oh, was it just Michael Ian Black, Michael Showalter, and David Wayne? Yeah. Yeah, it's Stella. That show is amazing. They suck Santa's dick. I don't remember that. They do some. They do something crazy. It's not real. It's not the real Santa. Yeah. But I, I I'll have to watch it again. It was kind of like fucking heinous and edgy. So oh, I was oh, I yeah. was checking out a little bit, but there were parts of it that were making me giggle. It, uh, but it was all like basically fucked up Christmas content, like comedy stuff you know it was like the episode of um aqua teen hunger force where like the christmas robot duck oh, shows up I, I love the episode danzig's yeah. in the episode yeah danzig's in that episode yeah, yeah. so it was that episode um I'm trying to think what else was on there it was an episode of uh fuck what, what? oh the wayans brothers tv show oh i love that show it was a christmas episode where a guy in a santa suit shows up with a gun and holds them all hostage uh, <laughs> it was great it was great uh, I would love that for like Halloween specials. I have one for Halloween okay. specials. Hell yeah. I have one for Halloween specials, but the Halloween specials are already scary. Yeah. So like the fucked up Christmas content was like a nice little twist. What was that? We were watching a Halloween special the other day where like, uh, not David Blaine. I want to, I always want to say David Blaine, but, uh, not David Copper. Is it David? We were watching. It was like a bunch of kids going to a mansion with Mark Summers. And then they just find like some, someone doing, Oh, it's a Lance Burton. <laughs> Yeah. Lance Burton was just doing magic Dude, that tricks. Was like, it was fucking that was awesome. Like a year ago, we were watching. Yeah, that. was I thought was, that was this Halloween. That was not the other day. That Sorry. was like I just say the other day. Sorry. Uh, that was a long ass time ago. A couple yeah. months ago. Yeah, that was a Nickelodeon special. Yeah, I don't remember great. where we were watching that. That may have been on a mixtape. I don't think so though. I no, think, I think I just found it on YouTube. Yeah, I think we popped that on on YouTube. Yeah, they're like getting abducted, um, <laughs> and you think they're gonna get murdered, but then like some magician just does like a fucking disappearing uh, dove routine for them. I sends them on their way. I remember there was one where like a woman did this whole mime routine where it was like she put her arm in a jacket and pretended like a it was like someone else's hand, 
but she like fell in love with her own hand. It was very strange. I love like stage magic and performative art like that. Same. That's just like, kind of weird. And like, it's just one person entertaining you. But yeah. They're like really talented. Clearly they're really talented. Um, that's my favorite kind of entertainment. You know, one person doing a lot with a little. Yeah. There's but like being impressive. They, that's the key. Like there's a fine line between art and shit, you know? Yeah. There's a, uh, I forget what it's called, but there's this, uh, form of entertainment they do in Japan where it's just one person with a fan. I've seen that. And they do like comedy or like they, they tell stories, but they I've only have like that. two objects. They tell like epic stories with like a fan and a napkin. Yeah. I I've always wanted to see one of those. I'm sure it's on YouTube. Oh yeah. I don't know. If, is the stream still up? Fuck dude. I've been here for so long. <laughs> I, I might end the stream soon. I'm fucking starving right now. I have to, I, I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> My family is probably like, where the fuck is he? <laughs> I gotta go. All right. Well, we still have 102 viewers, though. Well, say goodnight, everybody. It's been fun. Good night. This has been uh, Talking Strange. <laughs> Talk <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on that movie, Zone of Interest? Do you want to see that? Uh, is that the Jonathan Glazer movie? I don't know who directed it. I think it's the Nazi movie. I know you're not into that kind of. Media. Zone of interest. Yeah, it's a Jonathan Glazer movie. I want to see it. Okay. He uh, it's nominated for best picture. Yeah. He uh, I've never seen one of his movies, but I think he did like Under the Skin or whatever the fuck. Um, with if, Scarlet. Scarlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That movie's badass. Wanna? Or give you false? Yeah, Under the Skin, Sexy Beast, Birth, The Fall. Uh, yeah, I've 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 never seen one of his movies, and I've. The fall from 2008? 2019, it says. Okay, different fall. Yeah. Different fall. But yeah, his big movie is Under the Skin. Yeah. Zone of Interest is nominated. Best Picture. Apparently. Yeah, I want to see all those movies. I. You've never seen Under the Skin? No, I've never seen Under hey, the Skin. as a Mega64 fan, yeah. you'd like it. Really? Because they film it like in public, and they don't tell people. Like they Just basically, Scarlett Johansson like, goes out into public places and is playing a character, but nobody's informed on what's going on. <laughs> that so sounds awesome. It's, it, she plays like a fucking... Uh, alien monster person who is posing as a hot chick. Yeah. Really that's good. all I knew about that movie. And I know she like goes full. She, she's like nude as hell in that movie. Oh, you, you know, you, uh, you see some stuff that would make Garrett happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, all I'm going to say, yeah, I'm, I think I might end the stream now. Cause I'm fucking tired and hungry. Um, and usually I, I stay to talk to the chat, but I feel like we just did that. So I don't know. Chat. Is that okay? Don't ask them. Okay. They're, they're already sent, thanking you for a great stream, so you did a good job. So Blackout! Blackout! End it, end oh, it while you're uh, ahead! Fuck. Uh, how do I block it out? Just hit, hit the turn off button. Oh, okay. Bye.